this DVR is broken. I'm going to attempt to fix it. After sending it back to LTS, they sent it back in the same condition I sent it to them. So I'm going to see if I can open it up and see what's wrong. The problem I'm having is when it's on for a prolonged amount of time, it tends to turn itself off and back on again every few minutes. It's hard for me to show you this actually happening without making a really long video or wasting a lot of time. I'm just going to go ahead and try to fix it and we'll see if it worked. When I got this back, there was only a few screws left in it. I'm going to take those two screws out. There should be several more screws. I don't, I don't know why they didn't bother to replace all the screws. But I had sent this back to LTS to be repaired and they sent it back repaired, but it was not quite repaired because it still has the same problem, like I said. Um, this hard drive, for some reason, is loose um, despite the screws being in it and tight. So, I'm not sure why that's um, like that. So, let's go ahead and take this board out. Okay, with all the screws removed, let's have a look at this board. There's a couple ribbon cables I seem to have forgot. So here's the board itself. Let's get this out of the way. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a capacitor right here that seems to be bulging out. There's also one here, and here, and here. I think that's the problem. Is these capacitors are bulged up like that. They're no good. Now, if, if I have a look at them, let me see. I'm just trying to read the number off one of these. 10 volts, 470. All right. So let me get this out of the way for a minute. I have a whole little pack of these things. 10 volts, 470, are right here. Yep, 470, 10 volts. And it looks like I need four of them. Okay. Those are the ones we need. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and desolder the ones that are bad. This might get a little bit of glare, but I, I'm, I'm going to increase the light so I can see better what, what I'm doing. So there it is. not an exact match to the new one but it's pretty similar
Now when you're doing capacitors, it's important to note, usually on the border, it, you'll see there's a, there's two sides. Here on this side, you know, there's, there's no little stripes, and on that side there's stripes. Now if you look at the orientation of one of the one of the other ones it'll it'll show a little positive on the on the striped side see on this one and you can see that there's a, a fat line on that well almost all of these capacitors have that fat line we just have to note that that big fat line the white line goes on the striped side so that the polarity is right Now, see the short leg is is on the striped side, so the long leg is going to go to the non-striped side first. I think I need to clean up some of the solder from these holes before I can put these in. What I'm doing here is I'm putting the legs or at least one of the legs in on this side and I, I added a pretty modest amount of uh, solder to this and then I'm just heating up the one side and letting the leg come through. It was kind of a failed attempt there but so I put this side in here and then on this side I'm heating it up So the leg starts to push through. Then the same thing with the other leg. Try to do them both at the same time now. These get a little bent up sometimes if you're doing it this way. That's a really bad example. There it is, the new one. I added one here already. I added this one and this one. I haven't soldered these down yet, but I've already put them in their place. I have one left to do. That was a little better. Okay, now I'm going to straighten all these legs out and solder them up. Excuse my appearance, it's been a couple days. Um, I let this run for about two days now and it hasn't shut off, so I think it's done. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.